Hey, I'm sure we had a new good year. This is Kende, Elisha, founder of MP Certification Academy. I remember touching base towards the end of last year to see where you are with your studies when it comes to psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner examination uh, written by ANCC. So, believe it or not, this is January 15th now and the middle of the year is gone. I mean, I mean, not the middle of the year, the middle of the month is gone, I meant to say. So, we have 15 more days. Hey, that's still a lot of time left. Uh, remember, you can reach out for help. All you got to do is call me, 347-901-6037, or email nurse to nursecoach at gmail.com to get the support that you need to get you to another level. It is 2022. We got to step it up. We got to level up in peace. We got to level up. Learn from the best. All right. A quick review of what I talked about the last time. Domain one. Do you know the parts of the brain? Do you know the functions of the limbic system? Do you know basal ganglia and that we have five pairs of basal ganglia? And that is the putamen, substantia niagara, subthalamic nucleus, and so on. Do you understand those parts and do you know what they do? Do you know the parts of the cerebrum? Do you know that cerebrum is different from cerebellum? Do you know the four dopamine pathways? the negrostriatal pathway, the mesolimbic pathway, the mesocortical pathway, and the tuberoinfundibular pathway. Well, if you don't know it, you're not ready. Do you also know your chemicals responsible for probably your disorders? Example, norepinephrine responsible for anxiety. Do you know that? Do you know there are seven neurotransmitters that will likely be on your exam? Acetylcholine, dopamine, norepinephrine, Serotonin, yaba aminobutyric acid, glutamate, opioid neuropeptides. Do you understand that? Acetylcholine and dopamine have an inverse relationship. Do you know that? If you don't know that, you are not ready. And do you also know that there are certain chemicals and there are certain brain anatomies responsible for our disorders? Do you know those? chemicals and do you understand how to match up the brain anatomy with those chemicals well i teach them in my review i go that far i teach in such a way that you would never forget in the exam at np certification academy we don't read to people we teach to people because i know you can read before you come to me anyway so you need more help than that domain two do you know your scales your psychiatric assessment your gut seven do you know what we use it for and do you know what um, number that you need to, me to, to, to assess for suicidal ideation. Do you know that number? It's a magic number. I'm not going to tell it. I will tell it to you when you come to the review. What about MMSE? Do you understand how to assess your MMSE? Do you know that the higher the number, the better it is? MMSE of 25 to 30 is definitely what? Normal. That's what we want. Do you know another name for MMSC is called Faustin scale? Do you know that? And do you know your Beck score? Do you know your Cal score? And your CWA? Do you know what all that mean? Do you know what A-stereognosis is? And do you know what stereognosis is? Do you know what graphitisia is? Do you know this style of chokinesia? Do you know how to assess all that? If you don't know, you are not ready. <laughs> okay, examination all is like a war zone. We can make that better for you. We can lighten the load for you. Why do you have to handle all that by yourself? No, it's not necessary. Absolutely not. And do you also know about Domain 3? Domain 3 talks about what? The DSMs. That's how we diagnose our patients. Okay? They worked on it for 13 good years. So you can actually bank on that information. It's pretty solid. Personally, I like to diagnose. That's my business. Okay? Do you know how to diagnose OCPD and OCD? Do you even know the differences between the two? Do you know that OCD is ego dystonic and OCPD is ego syntonic? Do you know what that means? If you don't know that, you are not ready. And of course, do you know the difference between ODD and conduct disorder? And what is ODD? It is called oppositional defined disorder. You have to be able to tell the differences apart. Well, ODD, we do what? We use our mouth. And conduct, conduct disorder, we do what? We use what? I'll tell you when you come to the review. How about that? 
Do you also know what intermittent explosive disorder is? Do you know your type of anxiety disorders? Do you know your panic disorder and panic attack? And do you know the difference between the two? Well, you better go know it or I will help you to know it. All you got to do is go to www.npcertificationacademy.com to sign up. And I will end my domain three right there. Let's talk about domain four. Domain four talks about what? Psychotherapies and theories, don't forget. It talks about psychotherapies and theories. How are you supposed to study your psychotherapy? I teach it, I'll tell you. It's not a secret in my review. I give it all to you. I also give you slides to support you all the way through. I give more than 300 slides to my students. I also give them a set of 100 questions to even further support them. Those 100 questions are close to what you're gonna see on the exam, ANCC exam. They are not the random commercial questions that you see on the street or that you see on Amazon. These ones are well thought through and they were actually from ANCC. I don't release ANCC test, but I am able to research for those concepts that all contents that they put out and I'm able to use it to help my students. I also review Quizlet questions in my review. Well, I didn't put them on Quizlet. Somebody put them there and I know I use it as a resource also in my review. My last minute review is integrated with my packages. And now let's continue with domain four, psychotherapy. We have the individual therapy. We have the group therapy. We have the family therapy. Well, let's talk briefly about what? The individual therapy. Number one, the cognitive therapy. What is cognitive therapy? When you think about cognition, it has to do with the head, thinking. And then therapy means what? Treatment. The same way we rate our psychopharmacotherapy or we need to put that psychotherapy on the same level practically. We need to respect it that way. It is treatment too. And it's not quite easy for nurses because we never did it. So your psychotherapy means talk therapy. Just using things to speak to our patients so they can get better. We get them to talk to us and then we see how we can support them using certain techniques. We're just not talking. We're using certain techniques to get them to where they need to be. Or where they should be, excuse me. So cognitive therapy, we're using that, exploring the patient thought process. What are they thinking about? Exactly what is in their head. We try to explore that. We try to give them homework. Uh, we also have them record their records. That way we can see what is in their mind. Remember, we don't know what is in their mind or else they write it down as they say it to us. And that is called thought content. Thought content is what their thought contains, what they say to us. And that is cognitive therapy in a nutshell. It's extremely important to use it for people with anxiety, depression, and so on. The theory, the person behind uh, cognitive therapy is Aaron Beck. He believes that, you know, a lot of this psychosis that we go through is not because of the, it's not because of what we can see. It's because of what we are thinking about. It's because of our thought. For example, COVID-19. The way we think about COVID-19, we determine how we react. We determine whether we're going to have, we determine whether we're going to have anxiety or not. The way we think about it, our thought process, whatever we ruminate about. Okay, a lot of people when they go through stuff and they start to think the worst about it, we call it catastrophizing. And people with that we use CBT for also, we have to, they, they think all or nothing and they, do, they go with, they, they do, they have, there's, a, there's something I would call overgeneralization. They tend to do that a lot. Okay. That's my little clip of psychotherapy. I teach a lot more of that. I talk about family therapy and your techniques and how to remember them. I talk about the solution focused therapy. Think about solution focused therapy. To find a solution to anything, you have to ask questions, right? Example, miracle questions, exception finding questions, scaling questions. How do they test you on that? I teach you in my review. Again, www.npcertificationacademy.com. My cell phone, 347-901-6037. Or you email me at nursingnursecoach at gmail.com. Domain five. That is the roles, leadership, and ethical principles. There are five main ethical principles. Sometimes some people come up with seven. 
But for testing purposes, there were four. There are four common ones, uh, five common ones. Excuse me. That is justice, autonomy, beneficence, no malfeasance, and of course respect. The I yield ones. I will tell you when you come to my review. And how are they supposed to test you on that? They will not ask you for definitions. There is a way they will test you on that. And I will put you through. Okay. In our review. And that ends the domains. And then you are thinking. Where the heck is this domain from? Okay. Let me tell you. Domains. I didn't make it up. If you Google up. ANCC test content outline 2019. For psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. Examination. You will see it come up on Google. Or you go to their website. And look for the test content outline. You can see the test content outline as a syllabus that you have to go by. Okay, it takes a while to actually arrange your notes according to the test content outline. I took a whole lot of time to do that for you. I'm working hard for everybody to make sure everyone succeeds. So guess what? I have put together my notes, over 4,000 slides according to the test content outline, and I teach a whole lot of them. For that reason, my review is not a four-day review for me to say bye-bye to you. I take $300 from you and I tell you bye-bye after four days. No. Let me tell you, after a four days review, you don't know anything. So I came up with something that works for everybody. For every learner. The kinesthetic learner, the auditory learner, the visual learners. And that is what? Something that looks like a school. I have three weeks packages. You can come in the morning, you can come in the evening. My class will be repeated. I teach for three days during the week and teach two days during the weekends. So you can't miss out on anything. Unless you're working seven days a week, you will still have time to come to my review. I teach from 8.30 in the morning to 11 a.m. And then in the evening also from 8.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. And on Saturdays and Sundays, I teach from 8.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. So to find out more, text or call me 347-901-6037. Speaking of the other packages, I also have a seven weeks packages for those that really would not really have time to sit still or settle in the class or they have, they're in the military and they have to go in and out. I also consider those or people that don't have a stable schedule and they will just have some kind of issues for one reason or the other. It's good for them. It's called a flexible package because they can actually extend for two weeks or more as needed and they can also, um, definitely get extra free one-to-one -one with me before the test just to assess where they are to learn more about my packages again you can call or text me or go to my website I will, if you want to prepare alone I wish you the very best I can still be your resource all you gotta do is email me for any question whether you sign up for my review or not and I will be there for you my goal is to support nurse practitioner in the entire world especially across the United States if you have any questions you can email me I will respond faster than a call because a lot of times I'm teaching however I do return calls so that is my spiel for the day watch out for more videos I'll talk to you later bye bye